Hey guys, it is Maya and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I'd do a car tour of my car. I just got my car probably about four months ago. I think it's a Chevy Cruze. I think it's a 2014 Chevy Cruze and I love it. It's made for me and it's very, very comfortable. So I thought I'd finally do a car tour of it. So if you're new here, my name is Amaya. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you've been looking at my channel, I have been cleaning it up a little bit. I definitely deleted a lot of videos. So there's definitely a lot of time gaps in between it. But like I said, I've been trying to get more consistent on YouTube. So I thought that this would be a good video to have on my channel. Basically, I just wanted to like make some of my videos a lot more better and more organized because a lot of my videos were just all over the place and they were just very cringy and I was talking weird and I didn't really like them so I deleted a lot of my videos but I am trying to be more consistent and make better content so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and we'll get right into the video so basically I'm gonna show you what an overview of my car looks like so yes she's white um, this is dirt in. As you can see from the title of the video, if I put it on there, I already managed to mess it up. I literally hit the heck out of a curve and it like chipped all the paint off and it has like a big dent over there. Um, love that. So when you first walk into my car, the first thing I have right here is I always keep a bottle of perfume in my car and I just have a water bottle right here and this old receipt. Um, <laughs> The next thing that I have is this steering wheel cover. I actually got it off of Amazon for like $12, I think, and it came with the set. It even came with something that like went on your seatbelt and the thing that goes on, the little stick thing that I cannot think of the word right now, which is really, really cute, but it's super, super cute, and the fur doesn't like come off or anything. I went ahead and shut my door because it was super, super cold outside, so I'm just going to film from inside the car, I guess. All right. So when you're first inside of my car, the first thing that you'll see right here is I have like this little mount thing that I got from Five and Below. You can put like your phone in there. Um, it's good for like driving when you have like map or somewhere to be so you're not like looking down at your phone. So it's just this car mount and like I said, I got it from like Five and Below for only $5. So and I actually use it a lot and it's really great for filming YouTube videos in the car or something. What I have in my car is this picture of this random guy. I don't know. I just kind of found it and I thought it looked really, really keep my car so yeah that's what I keep in my car my favorite thing about my car is this little department up here this is where I keep all of my sauces for when I go out to eat or something from fast food all of my friends literally think that I'm the weirdest person for keeping sauces but when they forget to put your sauce in the bag I don't want to hear it because I'm gonna have some sauce in my car the next thing that I have that I keep in my little glove department is a hand cream that I got from Bath and Body Works for like free because of something. I keep a Burt's Bees lip gloss in here along with my sunglasses and that's all that's in this little department right here. Close it. So the next thing that I have that I keep in my car are scrunchies. I always have scrunchies. Yes, I know I'm basic. I just keep like two or three scrunchies on this sometimes and people say it's dangerous to do this but I mean I can perfectly see what is reverse and what is not and normally in this little department right here I keep my chapstick but I'm guessing someone stole it because it's no longer there right now and another thing that is also comes very in handy in my car are these cleaning wipes I always get them and keep them in my car it's nothing very special <laughs> the next thing i have is just my glove department where i keep like all my insurance and if i get pulled over my paperwork and i keep like crackers and food in my car i normally keep like snacks and stuff in my car because i literally have seen this youtube video once and like this couple got stranded in the middle of the desert they have no food no water so i always keep extra like water bottles and stuff always in my car very very handy and the next thing that i have is this little glove department right here what i keep in it is some gum and i literally only have like one strip in it nothing's really and that the next thing i have is just a dog collar because i take my dog to the park sometimes so i normally just like keep her collar up in here to put it on her and the next thing that i carry in my glove department are these like little air freshener things that go to this thing 
in my car. I have a poodle one right now. It used to be a turtle, but it broke, so I just got a new one. And basically, you can find these at Bath and Body Works. They always have like some type of like sale or something going on for them. Like they'll be like buy three of them for like nine dollars or something. So I always this is like a necessity to have in my car. I literally love having these. And I just have an extra one of these things to charge someone's phone or something. And that's what I keep basically in like the front part of my car. On to the back part of my car, as you can see, nothing is very in it. I keep my car pretty clean for the most part. Um, it just has a random cup holder. It has like another little chargey thing where you could like charge your phone. And in this department right here, it has like a little full, this side doesn't have it, but this side does. And basically I just kind of like keep like my like work information and stuff for my job that I keep up in here. And in this right here, <laughs> on the side of my door, I keep this like a little chalk thing. I actually used this recently. I plan on doing a story time about it, but I can't really say much about the situation because it involves other people and something happened to somebody's car and I got into some trouble but it's all good now so i do plan on doing a story time about it so i can't say much about it but just know there will be a story time coming out oh what the heck i use that for <laughs> so that is pretty much all for the car tour i mean i don't really know it el Ooh. what else to show in a car tour so i thought to make like the video longer and more interesting that i take y'all along to go run some errands with me in my car i guess but i need to get gas because i'm running very low on glad gas right now so that's what we're gonna go do right now another good thing about the car is that it actually runs extremely well on gas like I literally get gas every like two weeks um, basically I thought I'd just talk a little bit again about what I was saying about my channel I did delete a lot of videos but it was simply because a whole bunch of my videos were just cringy like my voice just sounds weird to me and I hate them and just some of the videos were just like very unorganized and very like skipped like around and I just want to put like better content uh, and I just want to put like better content out for YouTube and definitely just work a lot more on my videos and everything so I went ahead and just deleted some of the videos and just got them out of, off of my page but it's just like now the thing that I'm struggling with is like video ideas um I mean I have a few video ideas but it's like I'm not very good at pranking and a lot of my videos have to do with pranks and I just know I can't do it because I'm just gonna be busting out smiling so I don't really think I'm gonna be good at pranks. So it's just like, it's hard to like come out with like good like content about of like what people were gonna see. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked my car tour of my car that I got. Um, let me know again if y'all would like to see me do specific videos or anything you'd like me to see. But again, I'm definitely trying to be more consistent on what I'm doing and bringing out better content, higher quality videos and everything like that. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.